They said they could not create the perfect marshmallow. And yet, they did. They said that they could not revolutionize how to make a s'more. And yet, they did. They said they couldn't do it twice. Well, today, we're going to find out if they did. That's right. It's the return of the Game Changer. Ah, good. You're back. We can get to work. <clears throat> now, a year ago, we investigated the Stuffed Puffs regular marshmallows. The marshmallow that had a piece of chocolate inside. They said it would revolutionize the way that we make s'mores. And by God, the results were extraordinary. And we're here again today to discover if they struck gold twice with chocolate stuffed puffed marshmallows. That's right, a chocolate marshmallow with chocolate inside. Could they possibly have created a small perfection again? We'll find out. So, I got these at the same place as I got the last ones at some store you may have heard of called Moonlight? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Mmm. It smells... It smells like a cross between a brownie and a frosty. But not necessarily a good brownie and not necessarily a good frosty. Is this a bad omen? Time will tell. Now, let's take one out and look at it. Ooh, that is... Mmm. I forgot. All about this with the stuffed puffs. Mmm. It's the, when you hold up a stuffed puff marshmallow, you expect a marshmallow with squeezy and squishy and boo boo boo. But instead, it's hard because it contains that chocolate molten core. Well, I guess it's not molten yet. We will find out. Now, at first appearance, it looks well. Quite honestly, it looks like a a pellet of dirt. But looks can be deceiving. We must investigate further. We must dissect. Now let's get to it. Let's carefully dissect this chocolate marshmallow, shall we? Ah. Ready for the cross section. And there we are. Now, as you can, as you can play, hmm, point to Sean, there we go. As you can plainly see, this chocolate marshmallow extends around the south side, and on the inside is the harder chocolate center. Perhaps it's easier to tell over here. Hard chocolate, little bit of layer of marshmallow around it. Of course, what sort of small scientist would I be if I did not test this marshmallow taste-wise, textural louis eyes, before we decided to turn it into a s'more. So, let me slice off a, let's see, this seems like a good portion right there. Ah, uh, there we go. Let us see how this tastes. Exactly what I would call enjoyable. <laughs> I've certainly had better marshmallow chocolate combinations in my life and in my mouth. Don't mind me, I'm just going to, you know, uh, for scientific reasons, uh, 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 swap the dick. Very good. Well, upon our first examination, this is less than hmm, desirable in terms of a flavor profile, but we shall not let us let that deter us in our experimentation. No, no, no. But now we must do the more important test. Toasted. For when you're toasted, you are the most.
Now, our marshmallow should be done at any moment, if I am correct. I believe that it is done. That is a toasted... Still on fire. Still on fire. Still on fire. I'm sure it will put itself out. Now, we have our marshmallow. It is very toasty. Let us remove it from the skewer. Oh, very intriguing. Now, let's get a close-up look as we dissect. <laughs> so here we are. Time for the dissection. Nice and crunchy exterior, and oh, you know, I should have remembered that from last time, that dissecting a toasted marshmallow is not easy. Huh, intriguing, most intriguing. As you can see, the marshmallow part has completely liquefied, and the inner chocolate core has definitely softened. Not completely, not completely liquefied. Not completely liquefied, but still rather solid. But of course, we must test the taste. So let's see, I will try to maneuver this portion of the toastedness. Fascinating. Perhaps I should just try the whole thing, shouldn't I? Bottoms up, as they say. Hmm. By gum, once again, I am confounded. Hmm. Hmm. Although the taste of the untoasted marshmallow chocolate in chocolate combination stuffed puffs was rather off-putting. Once toasted, once the marshmallow had liquefied and its inner chocolate core had softened, we discovered to have a slightly, not just slightly, a, a much more palatable combination. So, we've tried it raw, we've tried it toasted, but now we must decide if the new and improved game changer can really change the game when it comes to s'mores. It has the marshmallow. It has the chocolate. Now let's add the graham cracker. And so, we've placed our toasted chocolate on chocolate, stuffed, puffed, marshmallow in between two slices of graham cracker. It has graham cracker, it has marshmallow, and it has chocolate. It has all the ingredients of a s'more. But is it a worthy successor to the game changer? Let's find out. Very interesting. Oh man, look at that. Ooh. Mm. Very interesting. Hmm. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but it may they may have actually done it again. They may have taken the game changer and actually taken it up a notch. Fascinating. Okay, if we could take a, a second, get out of character. Honestly, no really, they kinda did. If you watch our original, um, if you watch the original The Game Changer video for Stuff Puffed, where it's a regular marshmallow with chocolate on the inside, I'll put a link for it up here. Or over here, somewhere. Um, one of the complaints I had about it was, it was great, it tasted like a s'more, but I could have used just a little bit more chocolate. 
This, on the other hand, actually, with the chocolate being in the marshmallow, you still get the texture and the, the, the flavor of the marshmallow, but now you have just enough chocolate. Interesting. Now, anyone that has this may want more chocolate. They want, <laughs> you certainly can't get less. But that is not a bad amount. Hmm. Chocolate on chocolate stuff puffs. By gum, they may have done it again. Oh, better get back into character when I close this video out. <clears throat> and so, it appears that they've done it again. Those crafty, crafty scientists over at Stuff Puffs, I tip my hat to you. I'm not wearing a hat, I tip my glasses to you. You have created another wonderful game changer that could very well upend the world of swarms. Sir, I thank you for coming to today's scientific exploration of the chocolate or chocolate stuffed puffs. If you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to do all those things that make YouTube videos great. Like, comment, subscribe, if you feel so inclined. I want to thank you for coming to today's experimentation, and I'll see you again really soon. Stuff puffs.